Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, today we're actually going to be looking at this Phantom FC40 I did a video on, what, almost a year ago actually, where I installed that gimbal onto it. And I showed off what you can do with just $20 gimbal off Amazon. Well, funny story, I actually crashed it uh, in December. I was flying it and the gyroscope decided up wasn't up anymore and just started going sideways so I had to land it very quickly and it hit a tree. Let's just say that this drone has a few problems. It's not for the GPS units craft so I'm pretty sure I couldn't find it specifically but I think the gyroscope might be part of the GPS unit. That also could be it on the leg that's taped on. That might also be the GPS unit. I'm not actually sure. I did look it up, but I couldn't find anything about it. So I haven't flown this since it crashed. I, there's no real damage. The frame cracked a little bit and the gimbal ripped off. So there's a wire, an exposed wire that's just hanging there. I need to put back on the new gimbal. I did try all the motors. The motors still work when I tried it, but I'm not sure if it all flies. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try and we're going to make sure it still flies and we're going to put the gimbal back on it and hopefully everything still works. Okay, so look at it. You can tell there's a crack right there. And the paint's coming, kind of coming off. Uh, there's a few more cracks. It's separating a little bit in the seams. But other than that, it seems like it's in okay condition. None of the propellers are damaged. All the propellers are still good. So I'm not concerned about the propellers not firing. Let's go outside. So, whoa, that's overexposed. It's a pretty nice day. So it's a bit cloudy, but let's, let's go try it. Okay, let's, uh, let's try it. Sorry if it's out of focus, I can't really focus and fly at the same time. Here, let me try this. I don't know what that light code means. I'm not sure what two quick flashing yellow lights mean. I'll have to look that up a bit in a second. But so far, everything seems to be working fine. Yeah, that works well. I don't see anything wrong with it. It might just be uh, structural damage, which I don't really care about. Okay, nothing wrong with the gyroscope yet. Gyroscope still seems fine. Wow, wouldn't it be embarrassing if I crashed it right now? I've never crashed this uh, when it's been my own fault. I've crashed it twice. No, okay, actually, no, I'm sorry. I did crash it once, uh, and it was completely my fault. I crashed it right into a tree. I went too fast. But every other time I've crashed this, it's been because the gyroscope thought that sideways is up and it just went right into a hill. Here we are, back inside, and we're going to have to fix these wires. If you look closely, this wire got completely ripped off of the gimbal. This wire still has the connector on it, so it shouldn't be that difficult to plug back in. So here's the gimbal. It's still in pretty much perfect condition. Uh, the only problem is one of these feet. I lost one of them, so we only have two right now. I 
probably going to try and 3D print a new one or something. Don't, I don't know yet. Maybe I'll order some off Amazon. Let me go get the other foot for this. First we need to strip the wire. Um, I need to find wire strippers. Oh, god damn. Okay, I need to actually find my wire strippers. Oh, here they are. They're in the drawer right here. That would have been so much more useful. Actually, maybe not. There we go, finally. Okay, let's see if it works. Oops. Takes a second to start up. Yep. Okay, the gimbal's still working. The reason why it's kind of doing this is because it needs a counterweight, uh, which is the GoPro. So once it has a counterweight, it'll work. Okay, good. The electronics still work. That's good. Let's just really safely uh, put this together with... Uh, with tape. I'm sorry, but I couldn't find any electrical tape, so I'm just going to use masking tape. I mean, can't be anything wrong with that, right? I mean, what? It's five volts going through that. It's not dangerous. There we go. I'll tape it on a bit better. Once I actually get it on the drone. So now I need to find the other foot. This is going to be interesting. I'm not really sure where I put it. I put it in my jacket pocket. It might still be in that. Let me check. Okay, I found the little rubber nub. And I also found the other LED thing for the wing, which goes here. So let's put this on first. Oh, there's no screws in it for some reason, unless the screws are now just loose inside of the aircraft, so let's hope that's not the case. I don't want to glue it, so more tape to the rescue. This is looking more and more sketchy the more I do this. There we go. You'd never notice the difference. Now for this, this is like the hardest thing I'll ever do. Okay, so the gimbal is attached, and it is recording. Low battery already? Oh wait, oh wait, nope, don't know what that means. That means low battery. That's interesting. Thought I fully charged this battery. Well, the gimbal seems like it is working. I'm gonna bring it back and put the other battery in. Okay. Okay, let's uh, do this now. Again with a new battery.
Everything seems to be working fine. 